Welcome to a new Draw My Life video. Maria Salomea Sklodowska Curie, better known as Marie Curie, was born on November 7, 1867 in Warsaw, Poland. Maria was the youngest of five children from a humble family of teachers. Branislava and Vladislav taught them since they were very little the value of learning. When she was 11 years old, one of her sisters died of typhus, and soon after, her mom died of tuberculosis. Despite these sad events, Maria's father tried to keep his kids focused on their studies. Maria graduated with excellent grades, and when the moment came for her to continue with her higher education, she found that she couldn't register because she was a woman. Deciding to continue studying, she enrolled, along with her sister Bronislava, in a clandestine university that admitted female students. As soon as she could, she left Paris to continue her education. In 1981, she arrived to the French capital, where she changed her name to Marie. She joined the Sorbonne University, where she studied physics and math during two years of intense work, becoming number one in her year. Marie needed a laboratory to continue researching. And this is how she met Pierre Curie in 1984, while they were working on the magnetic field. 35 years old, Pierre was a brilliant figure in French physics. Their love for science made them connect immediately, and it didn't take them long to get married. They had two daughters, Irene, who got the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1935 with her husband, and Eve Curie, a writer. When Marie found out about the recent discoveries about the new types of radiation, she decided to investigate them. She started studying the radiation of uranium. And using the piezoelectric techniques invented by Pierre, she measured, carefully, the radiations in pitch blend, a mineral that contained it. When she saw the radiations of the mineral were more intense than those of uranium itself, she realized there must be known elements more radioactive. Marie Curie was the first person to ever use the term radioactive to describe elements that emit radiation when their nucleus decompose. Pierre renounced his job to join his wife's research. In 1898, the Curies announced the discovery of two new elements, polonium and radium. During the following four years, the couple, working under very precarious conditions, treated a ton of pitch blend, of which they isolated a one gram fraction of radium. In 1903, they were awarded the Physics Nobel Prize thanks to their discovery of radioactive elements, shared with Becquerel. The Curies, very reserved, suffered when they were put under so much media pressure. Marie Curie was the first woman to ever get this award. In 1904, Pierre was named a professor at the University of Paris, and in 1905, member of the French Academy. These positions weren't really for women, so Marie didn't get as much recognition. Sadly, Pierre died run over by a horse cart on April 19, 1906. From that moment on, Marie decided to take on his classes and continue with the research. In 1911, she got her second Nobel Prize, chemistry this time, thanks to her research on radium and its compounds. She was the first person to be awarded two Nobel Prizes. She was named director of the Radium Institute in Paris in 1914, and the Curie Institute was founded. When World War I broke out, she used her scientific knowledge to help the troops. She collected money to create a fleet of X-ray mobile units, driven from field hospital to field hospital. Marie left to the US in 1921 to collect a gram of radium. This acquisition was possible thanks to popular contribution, promoted by a journalist. Eventually, Marie Curie suffered an aplastic anemia, caused by a large exposure to radiation. After losing her eyesight, she died on July 4, 1934, at a sanatorium in Passy, in the French Alps. Marie Curie's life was a continuous fight. She had to go over a thousand obstacles to be able to work on her dream. Madame Curie is such an icon of women in science and in society in general. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode.